Gary asks about are house price stroke letting increases sustainable or does the panel think there could be a correction in the next 12 to 18 months once schemes come to an end, such as furlough and mortgage holidays, etc.? So if you can see how that links into that question, really, because you would take advantage of if of a correction if there one did occur. So you would actually sell high by buy low, basically. I mean, what do you what, what's your view on that? Do you want me to go so first? Ben, you um, go first. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I mean, hard to say. Is it is there possible that there is a correction? Yes. Is there also possible that there might not be? Absolutely, as well. It's so kind of dependent on it's multivariate, basically on uh, on unemployment, on wage inflation, on various things that would lead to kind of your house prices increase. So, I guess it's con it's good to be conscious, basically, of the uncertainty that you face in the future. And that's why I stress back, I come back to the point, whereas I think your house transacting is over, it's not over a 12 month time frame. It's certainly on the purchase side, maybe on the rental side, it might be. But if you're looking to enter the kind of um, purchase market, generally what you see, and I, I, even if you take it back to the kind of worst example that we can, we can pick on from 2008, from the house price, um, from the housing crisis, generally what you see is if, if people uh, held their houses for long enough, they wouldn't really be that vulnerable to a shock. Now, there are obviously nuances to that, and there are obviously places in the country where that hasn't been the case. But generally speaking, for the majority of people, provided you held your assets for three, four, five years, you're actually not that vulnerable to a short-term shock. And so I just think it comes back to making rational decisions, making sure that the value that you put on that property is the price that you end up paying. Don't get caught in the, I really want it, so I'll pay an extra 5%. Just be conscious to stick to what you think the value of that property is. And uh, and I think that's how you should base your decision making. 